And we're going to spend the day today with Juan, and he's going to be our tour guide. And we're going to see the the walls of the old city, where that was, what it looks like today. We're going to go to the what else are we going to do? Alcazaba, Alcazaba, Roman theater, the Roman theater, and, and we we're going to the end cathedral. up at the cathedral. Yes. And it's a beautiful day, and we already love this city. It's absolutely fabulous. <laughs> So this is something we've never done before. Juan has uh, provided us with a virtual reality 3D imaging so that we could see the port the way it was back then. Which, well, it, it's it? amazing. It's amazing. It is literally like you're there. The water is like right here, like you're on the edge, very close to the seawall. And you're seeing all the old buildings and the sailing ships in the harbor and everything. It's very cool. We haven't seen anything like that before. You need to do it, Doug. Now we are going. I'm going to show you. Uh, we didn't have the park, of course. We didn't have these buildings, so the the Alcazaba reached until here with the walls. So the walls of the city were right here, and we had different um, different doors here. So from these doors, they could have access directly up to the to the mountain to the Alcazaba. Okay, so. Um, and also, let me tell you, you will be on a boat, okay? Okay, that's great. <laughs> I'm going to be on a boat this time. <laughs> yeah. I've never done this before, but it's such a great way to... Oh, yeah. It really it that's, takes that's you that's back in time. to understand. So, yeah. from here, you have yeah. to watch to the top palm tree. Okay. Uh, the same thing, watching down and then up. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Uh, now you see there uh, a door yes. on the wall. Yes. Okay. So that's the wall I, I was telling you, the defensive right. wall of the city. Yeah. You can go all, all around. You can look down, you're on a boat. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I don't want to look down. <laughs> okay. And if you look up, then you see the oh, castle yeah. on top of the hill behind the, the, the door, the, the, the wall that you have right The wall of the city. Here, okay? Yeah. And there, what you're watching right now, there's another door there. Right, right, that, right that, there. We call it the dark gate. And okay. it was right where the where the city hall is right now, and yeah. um, and that was used by the ruler of the city who used to live at the Alcazaba to uh, go. Uh, well, the, he arrived here from the from the sea and went up to to his um, house, which was the Alcazaba. In fact. Yeah. Okay. So it ended right there. The wall of the city ended right about yes, there. Yes, yes, and Malaga finished here. So okay. there, there's nothing built. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Oh, that's great. You can turn back also <laughs> to see the sea and the boat. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is crazy. What are you looking at now? I'm on a boat, on <laughs> a sailboat. You know, a sailing ship, yeah. you know, from... Uh. And then the whole, the old walled city is right here in front of me. And then you can see and you look up on the hill and there's the fortress. Yeah, it's very cool. Okay, we are in the Alcazaba uh, right now. It's an old Arabian fortress and uh, it was used by the army to defend the city and then later they built a palace inside the fortress and this is where the ruler of the city used to live. Uh, so it was used by the army and also as a private residence. So we, have, uh, we are watching the palace and also uh, the fortress. Everything is thought for defending the place and also of course defending the city. Okay, so here we are at the Roman Theater of Malaga. This is the oldest building that uh, we keep in the city. It's right now two millennium old, as it comes from the, dates back from the era of Jules Caesar, the emperor. Okay, uh, too many things have happened. Uh, it has been buried until the 20th century, and now it's very recent. Uh, the view we are having right now is only 20 years old. As, uh, as I said, they have uh, well recovered uh, very recently. We're walking now from the Alcazabra to the cathedral through the city. And one of the things we find so striking about these beautiful European cities is that they've taken the streets out and converted these streets 
into beautiful pedestrian walkways. Juan says that uh, he remembers when he was living here that this was the people. This was a road. That this was a street. Uh, but they've converted it into now just a a passenger pedestrian area. And and then the other thing we always notice is how they've done the the streets. And I mean, this is beautiful marble and tile and uh, just absolutely so reminiscent of these European cities and how beautiful their downtown areas are. Here we have the, old, the other main monument of Malaga, uh, the cathedral. This time is Christian and they started building it in 1526. But it took nearly three centuries to finish. Um, a lot of things happened all along uh, its history, but um, when the Christians arrived here, what was here was the big mosque of Malaga. So it's funny that we don't have any trace of the old mosque, but it's funny that these people at least respected the place, the sacred places, you know. Juan uh, said that uh, one of the unique things about the church is that this side looks like a fortress. And if you can see, those are actually what look like cannon barrels coming out. And he said that those are obviously not real, but they were designed to look like cannon barrels so that if there were pirates or people approaching, enemies approaching from the sea, and they were looking through binoculars, that they would see this immense building and it looks like a fort. So that would, uh, it really was used as deception, something we've never seen really on a church before. But uh, again, from this side of the building, the, the people from the sea might think it was a, a fort. So this very ornate Baroque style building was the house of the bishop. And he was the final bishop uh, when the end of the construction of the cathedral was happening, uh, which took probably, what, 300 plus years from the time they started until they finished. This was the final part of the cathedral. You can see it's finished in the Baroque style. And um, at the time that the final construction was happening, the colonies were fighting, the colonies in America were fighting England, and the Spanish king wanted to help out the colonies, along with France, and so he came to the bishop here in Malaga, Malaga, and asked for money to help the colonies. And so the bishop wanted to help the king, so he gave him 400,000 reales, that were supposed to be used to finish the construction of this cathedral and he gave it to the colonies instead. And you can tell what didn't get completed. They're missing an entire spire with a bell tower on the right. All the statues that are supposed to be up at the very top of the cathedral are not there. And the very center part of the cathedral, which was supposed to be kind of an arched uh, kind of top uh, in the center section is not completed. And so we have we have the bishop to thank uh, for our independence and as a result the colony the uh, cathedral never got completed. <laughs>